there's a lot of orange chicken recipes out there on the internet, and they all have one thing in common. When you add the sauce, the chicken gets soggy, and nobody likes soggy fried chicken. Today I'm gonna show you how to make super crispy fried chicken, so when you go to add that orange sauce on top, the chicken won't get soggy. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. Orange chicken is one of my favorite American Chinese dishes. I'm either ordering this or General Tso's chicken when I go out. Now, before I show you how to make this super crispy fried chicken, I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing orange sauce, and it starts off with using whole oranges. Cut the oranges in half, and then using a little bit of elbow grease, you're gonna go ahead and squeeze the oranges into a measuring cup. We need about one cup of orange juice, and if you don't wanna use whole oranges, you can buy a half gallon, but keep in mind it's about the same price. Now for the sauce, in a large bowl, we're gonna add the one cup of orange juice, a fourth a cup of sugar or brown sugar, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, a half a teaspoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons of Shaoxing wine, one tablespoon of cornstarch, which will help to thicken up the sauce. And lastly, we're gonna season with a little bit of black pepper or you can use white pepper. Now whisk that all together until the cornstarch and the sugar is dissolved into the sauce. And we're gonna set that aside until our chicken is fried and we go to stir fry. Now let's talk about the chicken for a minute. So what I like to use is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can also use breasts, but I like to use chicken thighs because they're usually always tender Tender, you can overcook them and they'll still be tender, but not to mention that chicken thighs are usually traditional to American Chinese dishes. So what you're gonna do is clean up some of the fat on the chicken thighs and then cut them into one to two inch pieces that are bite size. Then place those pieces of chicken in a large bowl and then we're gonna do a very quick marinade. It's only gonna be one teaspoon of light soy sauce, about a half a teaspoon of sugar, two egg whites, and just a little drizzle of sesame oil. Give that a mix until combined. And not only is this gonna add flavor to the chicken, when we go to bread it, it's gonna allow that breading to stick onto the chicken and get nice and crispy when we go to deep fry. Now let me tell you the secret of how to get super crispy fried chicken. It's gonna start off with about one cup of rice flour. Now with the rice flour, it doesn't absorb as much oil as the wheat flour, so it gets super crispy. Then we're gonna add one cup of cornstarch. And then what I like to do is add about one tablespoon or so of five spice powder. It's gonna add a lot of aromatics to our dredge. If you can't find it, you can leave it out, but I highly recommend it. Now take the chicken and drop in a few pieces at a time and dredge in the flour, making sure there's a nice even coating on each piece of chicken. And make sure you do this with a few pieces of chicken at a time. If you just add all the chicken to the bowl, they'll stick together and you won't be able to get a nice even breading on all the chicken. Once all the chicken has been breaded, it's time to move on to deep frying the chicken. Now in a Dutch oven, deep fryer, or cast iron pan, you wanna fill it no more than halfway up with a neutral oil such as vegetable oil. And the reason for filling it only halfway is safety reasons. You do not want the oil to bubble over. You can cause a fire, you can burn yourself, so be very careful. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna heat the oil to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then very gently you're gonna drop in individual pieces of chicken so they don't stick together in the oil, and you're gonna let them fry for around five minutes or until nice and golden brown. You wanna continue to do this in batches, and keep in mind you wanna monitor that temperature to be around 350. When you add the chicken, the temperature's gonna drop, so keep a close eye on the oil. You don't want the chicken to brown too fast. Now another thing to keep in mind with rice flour is the chicken does not get as brown as if you were to use wheat flour. There's always a white powdery residue on the outside of the chicken. The same thing happens if you use potato starch, but don't worry about it. When you add the sauce, it's gonna cover it up for presentation's sake. Repeat the process with the rest of your chicken, and once the chicken is fried, you're gonna drain it on a wire rack or paper towel, and then immediately season each batch with a little bit of salt. Now that the chicken is fried, there's only one more step we have to do before we can devour and eat this beautiful orange chicken. In a large wok on medium heat, we're gonna add one tablespoon of a neutral oil, such as avocado oil. And once the oil is hot, we're gonna add three or four garlic cloves that we crushed and minced up nice and fine, along with a one inch piece of ginger that we peeled and cut up nice and fine as well. Now, if you're like me and want it spicy, we're gonna add about three arbol chilies that we removed the stem and cut up nice and fine. If you don't have arbol chilies, you can always use red pepper flake, just add them to taste. Now fry all the aromatics for around 30 seconds to a minute or until the garlic is nice and fragrant. Then we're gonna go in with our orange sauce. Give that all a stir and bring to a gentle simmer and you'll notice that the sauce will start to thicken up from the cornstarch. And at this point, what I like to do is add the zest of one orange and just by using a microplane grater, you can get nice clean orange zest and it's gonna add a nice concentrated flavor to our sauce. Now, while this is optional, I highly recommend doing it. Now that the sauce is thickened up nicely, we're gonna add the crispy fried chicken directly to the sauce and then toss all that together so that the sauce is evenly covering every single piece of chicken. And then lastly, what I recommend doing is tasting it and adjusting the salt levels to your liking. Now we're gonna serve this orange chicken family style on a large plate. We're gonna garnish with some orange slices, green onion, sesame seeds, and then serve with jasmine rice on the side. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please leave me a comment if you end up trying it. I can't wait to dive into this because I know how good it is. It's time for the taste test. I know it's good when you start breathing.
I'm gonna be honest with you, this is fire. We wanted to do this a little bit more traditional. I did a couple things that are a little different, but, and to tell you the truth, that whole bag of oranges, and I've been eating them, so that, that wasn't even all of them. The whole bag of oranges was only $2.99 on sale, where like a jug of orange juice was probably like three, three, four dollars. So it's actually cheaper this time to get the oranges. I don't know why, don't ask me, but when you're saying like, hey, that's a lot of oranges for this dish, it's the same price as a gallon of orange juice. You got a nice orange flavor in here from the fresh oranges. It's a little bit spicy from our chili, not too salty. The five spice adds a lot of aromatic flavor to it. So definitely put the five spice in and the flour. If you don't have it, you can leave it out, but it's definitely worth adding it in there. Rice flour, super crispy. I've done this with chicken 65. I usually do it with all my fried chicken because it's gluten free. It gets the chicken super crispy. This has been sitting here for a while now. We did photos and B-roll and stuff and the chicken is still crispy, which I'm amazed, you know, even because it's smothered in sauce. We did do a healthier version on our website. So if you go to the website and you want a healthier orange chicken with coconut aminos and stuff, I want to do a more traditional version or one that was deep fried. Healthy subjective, but I know you guys will not be disappointed if you try this recipe. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to cook next. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, give me a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.